My name is Ben Wilson, and uh, I work for GE. Um, GE is a really big place. Uh, we have about $120 billion in revenue, about 400,000 employees. We operate in almost every country in the world. And we operate in industries like aviation, healthcare, transportation, power and water, renewables, and my favorite, oil and gas. And that's where I work. Uh, as part of GE Oil and Gas, we believe energy is valuable, and the world's going to need more. The world's going to need more because populations are growing to 9 billion, because urban centers are also growing. As part of our role in that energy uh, transformation is we build products that help to extract, transform, and refine oil and gas. So we can be part of the energy train that helps to power things like data centers for AWS, networks, and probably the most important thing in, in my world is laptops for developers. Today, we, in, in the oil and gas industry, you can imagine we're operating in an uncertain world. Uh, in this uncertain world, oil prices have plummeted, gas prices have gone down, so hopefully you guys all have a few extra bucks in our pocket. But the interesting thing is we see people pulling back from the oil and gas industry. At GE, we're doubling down on the oil and gas industry. The reason is we're going to use technologies from our other industries to help us be more successful in the oil and gas industry. A couple of examples. One is if you think about a rig that's out in the Gulf of Mexico and it needs power, we build equipment for that. We leverage capabilities and technologies from our jet engines in the aviation business to make it more efficient and effective for our customers. Another example is uh, LNG facilities where we transform natural gas into liquefied natural gas. And we use technology for compression from our power generation business. And one that's probably not so obvious is MRIs from our healthcare business. So we actually have these things called pigs that go down a pipeline and do inspections for integrity. And what they do is they try to figure out, hey, is there, is there a crack starting to form here? How is this weld going to work out? Is there any corrosion? We use that MRI technology inside those pigs. GE is turning into the first digital industrial uh, organization in the world. We're putting sensors on all of our products. We're pulling off terabytes and sometimes petabytes worth of data. And in doing that, we're using that to be able to make our products better and also more success and make our customers more successful. The real reason I'm here today is to talk about our cloud transformation in GE Oil and Gas. We've moved about 350 applications to the AWS cloud to date. And with those types of applications, you know, people oftentimes look at the cloud and they say, hey, an application has hundreds of thousands or millions of users. That's not what we have. We have applications that have tens of users, or maybe 100 users. And that's a very different profile. With that different profile, we have to make sure we understand what's going on with every single one of them. We have to tag, monitor, measure, and automate every one of them, and start to create patterns that allow us to be, make those reusable. Without that, we would never be successful. A couple of examples of applications we have in the cloud. Uh, SAP Hybris, which is our storefront on the web to be able to sell products to our customers. Uh, Get Paid, which is a great application for us because we have a lot of invoices coming in and we create a single invoice out of that. Really important in the oil and gas industry when things aren't going so well. WordPress we moved in, so our 90% uh, cost reduction there. But a really interesting one is called Epsilon. It has 750 terabytes worth of data that we have to do analysis against. And we've moved that to AWS, too. Overall, our, our journey is to get 500 apps into AWS. And we believe that will provide us enough apps that will really make us successful in the long run. But one of the things that people want to talk about the most is, what are the real benefits? So you move the apps, so what happened? What we've seen is a 52% total cost of ownership reduction. Now, a lot of people go, oh, that must be on storage, or it must be on EC2 instances. And although in some cases that's, that is true, we were a highly virtualized environment already, so we saw some benefit there, but not so much. Where we saw the greatest benefit is when we started using tools inside AWS that made a difference. If you think about things like Aurora, as an example, it's a metered database now. So we tossed out the uh, databases we were using, started using Aurora, and you think back on that last slide about us tagging and monitoring all those apps, what we were able to do is leverage a whole bunch of data that comes out of Trusted Advisor and CloudWatch that allows us to be able to know when our applications are being used by, by users and not. 
and you can imagine 10 users, 50 users, 100 users, odds are they're not using them at night. They're probably just using it for about eight or 10 hours of the day. With that, we're able to shut them down and then bring them back up when it's needed with things like Elastic Beanstalk, driving down our costs and being able to make it a more resilient and durable application, a really important point. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the AWS Snowball. It's a new tool from AWS. It's a pretty nice tool. We like it. We're using it with our uh, Epsilon project. We're moving 750 terabytes. And we found this to be a good tool. Uh, we've moved our first 50 terabytes. It took us roughly two weeks. We estimated it was going to take us 100 days or more to go do that. And you can imagine we have another 700 terabytes or 14 uh, snowballs that we still need to move. We find it fast, efficient, and it works quite well, at least for the particular situation we're in. The other thing people ask me about quite often is what's next for us? You've moved 350 apps, you're seeing a total cost reduction of you know, 52%, what's really next? Well, we're moving the, all of our apps into the cloud, right? And for us inside AWS, we're gonna start moving our engineering apps into the cloud because we wanna provide a differentiated user experience for engineers. So if you think about it, our engineers are in Florence, Italy, in Aberdeen, Houston, uh, Singapore, Shanghai, Perth. They're all over the world. They have 100 megabyte files that they're moving back and forth. And with those files, it becomes very challenging to be able to make that work. If we can put it all in AWS, use the 10 gigabit backplane to be able to move the data, and then use things like desktop as a service to be able to provide a differentiated user experience, it would be extremely helpful. And it would really help us drive down costs and most importantly, help to eliminate data centers. And that's a really important piece for us. So that's my last slide. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a great conference.